This is the solution video for problems 10, 11, and 12 from the section 1-3 homework assignment. So the directions here uh, tell you to evaluate the value of each limit. So uh, we'll take a look at number 10 first. It says the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right of f of x or of 3x to the fourth over x plus 1 squared. So uh, the goal here, remember, is to uh, take a value that is on the left of negative 1. So what is a value on the left of negative 1? Well, like negative 1.1. That's on the left, all right? So first of all, when we uh, evaluate the numerator, all right, we get 3 times negative 1 to the fourth. Well, Negative 1 to the 4th is positive 1 times 3, so the numerator is approaching 3 all the time. Now, denominator. If we just evaluate at negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is, of course, 0. Squared. What is 0 squared? Well, of course, that's 0. So we are approaching 3 over 0. Now, that is an undefined number, but it is not indeterminate. It is determinate. Okay? So we do understand whether it's gonna, that it's going to be positive infinity or negative infinity, but what we need to do is we need to examine a little closer by evaluating with a number uh, to the right of negative 1. I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier. Uh, we're looking at from the right of negative 1. That would be like negative 0.9. So x approaches negative 1 from the right. All right, so 3x to the fourth over x plus 1 squared. All right, so now uh, 3x to the 4th, that is still approaching 3 no matter how you cut it. Whether negative 1 is approaching from the left or from the right, the numerator is still approaching a positive number 3. It is not approaching 0. So what we really need to be concerned about is negative 1 from the right plus 1 squared. All right, so what is a number to the right of negative 1, like negative 0.9? So negative 0.9 or any number to the right of negative 1 plus 1 is going to be a positive result, but approaching 0. So we say 0 from the positive. So we have 3 divided 0 divided by 0 from the positive squared. So now, 0 from the positive. If I'm squaring a positive number, it is going to remain positive. So we are taking 3 divided by 0 from the positives, which means we are approaching positive infinity. But now, on 11, the same thing is true. We're still approaching 3 over 0. But now, how does it change if the limit as x approaches negative 1, but now from the left of 3x to the fourth over x plus 1 squared? All right, so what does that mean? Well, that means that now I am going to be evaluating 3x to the fourth over x plus 1 squared with a number to the left of negative 1. So once again, the numerator, 3 times negative 1 to the fourth is still approaching 3 regardless of whether or not it is from the left or from the right. But denominator, negative 1 from the left plus 1 squared. Now, negative 1 from the left, what is a number to the left of negative 1? That would be like uh, negative 1.1, negative 1.2, something like that. Now, if I add negative 1.1 to 1, my result is a negative number. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so that means we're approaching 0 from the negatives, but then we are squaring it. So we have 3 divided by 0 from the negatives squared. Now, if I square a negative number, I get a positive. So that means the denominator, no matter if you're approaching from the left or from the right, is going to be positive, therefore you are approaching positive infinity. So as we approach negative 1 from the right, as we approach negative 1 from the left, you're approaching positive infinity, therefore the overall limit we could say is positive infinity, okay? But remember, that ultimately means that the limit does not exist. Now, what does this tell us about the graph? Well, it tells us that if we're approaching negative 1 from the left and from the right, we must be approaching a vertical asymptote on both sides.